Fedor, Russia's pistol-wielding sharpshooter robot with 100% accuracy. But that's just one of many military inventions making soldiers obsolete. Like this Terminator drone, a remote control tank, and so much more. But first, we gotta talk about a robot dog who's armed to the teeth, making his bite much worse than his bark. We've all seen the adorable videos of robot dogs dancing for their human masters. But it was only a matter of time before someone took that cute, innocent concept and strapped an automatic rifle to its back. Taking the definition of guard dog to a psychopathic level, this dystopian Furby can spray a target with bursts of automatic fire or take aim for precision shots over long distances. Instead of fetching a newspaper, this robo-assassin can snipe the mailman from two blocks away. Just further proof that everything in Russia is designed to kill you. But it's not just the Soviets up to no good. I guess it was only a matter of time before someone strapped an arsenal of weapons to a drone for the ultimate destruction. The Songar armed drone comes with a mounted machine gun as standard and can fire on targets in single, semi, or fully automatic modes, perfectly compensating for recoil. With a five kilometer radius, the Songar can be remote controlled or programmed to operate autonomously. But if you're looking for more firepower, the machine gun can be swapped out for grenade launchers or even bomb dropping capabilities. Now there's absolutely nowhere to hide. How do you fight against an enemy that's completely silent, controlled remotely, and has enough firepower to flatten a small village? Let's find out. This is the Ripsaw M5, an unmanned, all-electric tank built for the next generation of modern warfare. On board, you'll find everything needed to run an unmanned operations center. From the high-tech navigation system and 360-degree cameras to the field-deployable drones. But it's the mounted arsenal that will really make the difference on the battlefield. Both the 30mm XM813 cannon and the M240 machine gun can be operated remotely, meaning the only casualties will be on the receiving end. Say what you want about kamikaze pilots, but at least their tactics were effective. WB America liked the concept so much, they decided to shrink it down and remove the pilot altogether. The result is the Warmate, a miniature self-destructing aircraft that's remotely controlled until the point of their satisfying explosion. Fast, precise, and capable of carrying a one kilogram payload, this is one piece of tech that makes Japanese kamikaze pilots seem like overkill. Speaking of overkill, what do you get when you cross the durability of a tank with the firepower of a stealth fighter? This is the Cockerel IX Ground Assault Vehicle, an intensely powerful cloaked assault vehicle armed with a state-of-the-art modular weapon system, featuring a silent thermoelectric drivetrain, adaptive camouflage, and AI-powered sensors throughout. Driving the Cockerel is like piloting your very own invisible base of operations. When you add in the retractable weapon systems capable of carrying 30 millimeter artillery, missiles, and rockets, you've got a badass ride no one should mess with. This is the tactical jet suit, and with it, bad guys are gonna have to rethink that boat getaway plan. Built by Gravity Industries, the jet suit is powered by five gas turbine engines, one on the backpack and two on each arm. One click of the handheld trigger and it instantly generates more than a thousand horsepower or 144 kilograms of lift, propelling users in the air at speeds of up to 85 miles an hour. Deployed fast and arriving even quicker, it's the perfect military tool for covert boarding missions at sea or bringing supplies and aid to injured soldiers in remote locations. Capable of hovering and landing with extreme precision, it truly is the versatile military tool of the future and probably the closest thing we have to a real-life Iron Man. Part submarine, part sea assault craft. This is the Carrier Seal MK2, the most versatile naval vessel in the world. Up front, there's room for two pilots, with six Navy divers held in the rear section, any one of which can take turns manning the top-mounted machine gun. More than just an armed aquatic personnel carrier, the Carrier Seal can also travel at speeds of up to 30 knots above the water before diving into semi-submerged and fully submerged modes for the ultimate in stealth warfare. You just gotta remember to put scuba masks on everyone before converting into submarine mode. 
They say it's not the size of the bullet, it's how you fire it. Tell that to the Panther KF-51, a next-generation tank capable of firing rounds that are a mind-boggling 130 millimeters in diameter. To put things in context, anti-aircraft guns top out at about 30 millimeters, meaning the Panther can take out something four times the size as a fighter jet without breaking a sweat. Even if you could get past all the Panther's defenses, the 1,475 horsepower V12 diesel engine could propel this beast at an incredible 40 miles an hour, making it one of the fastest tanks in the world. But if you think that's dangerous, wait until you see what's in store at the end of the video. When it comes to military drones, the only thing stopping them from becoming fully automated missile launchers is a pesky little thing called recoil. The Jackal fixes all that with eight rotors and a state-of-the-art stabilization technology that allows the drone to carry and fire missiles without being thrown off course. Each Jackal can hold two 11-kilogram laser-guided missiles and can accurately strike a target more than four miles away. Add that to the fact that it can fly at speeds of 99 miles an hour over a range of 81 miles, and you've got the best armchair arsenal in the world. The best way to prove your product actually works is to put your money where your mouth is. It goes without saying, what you're about to see was performed by professionals. Do not attempt anything under no circumstances ever. Got it? Good. Trent Kimball, the CEO of Texas Armoring Company, was so convinced that his new bulletproof glass was up to standard that he got behind the wheel of his Mercedes and asked for his compliance manager to fire an AK-47 at him. It's the ultimate workplace performance review where a bad result can end up in a funeral. While none of the bullets managed to penetrate the super strength glass, you gotta wonder if that first shot was a little personal. The cool guys always walk away from explosions like it's another day in the office. But with the Ratnik 3, you can walk away through explosions like it's nothing. The team behind the Ratnik 3 had a model suited up before marching her through a live minefield. Concussion grenades, landmines, even flame-filled explosives. The best they could do was leave a heavy layer of black soot. Developed by the Russian Central Research Institute of Precision Machine Building, this explosive-proof suit gives an added layer of durability to their soldiers. While while this might be an early prototype, you can be sure the Ratnik 3 will be coming soon to a nightmare battlefield near you. When you're fighting a war in the desert, you're gonna need more than an armored camel. This is the Ajaban Long Range Special Operations Vehicle, and it's the best long range tactical assault vehicle on the market. On board, you'll find a host of high tech features, including a military grade battery management system, self inflating tires, night vision equipment, ballistic armor kits, and more personal weapon mounts than seats. Whether you're out for reconnaissance or laying siege to a village of terrorists, the Ajaban can do it all. The lack of a roof might confuse some people, but out here, they're not expecting rain anytime soon. This is the SWAT bot, a bulletproof robotic shield that can take just about anything you shoot at it. Made out of Kevlar and articulating steel plates, the SWAT bot can quickly be unloaded from the back of a pickup truck, unloaded and deployed in the battlefield, or hostage situation where active fire is a possibility. Kind of like hiding behind the fat kid in dodgeball, the SWAT bot provides officers and VIPs an extra layer of protection as they approach or back away from danger. It's so effective that in testing, officers were able to fire over 1,000 rounds into the mobile shield without a single bullet passing through. While it's not quite RoboCop, the SWAT bot will definitely do for now. When the zombie apocalypse hits, you have two choices, run screaming or fight back with a flame-throwing drone. Created by Throw Flame, this $1,500 attachment turns a regular drone into a flying napalm gun straight out of Mad Max. With a one-gallon fuel tank and the ability to spew flames over a 25-foot distance, you've got the ability to shoot fire continuously for up to a minute and a half. The company says it's the perfect tool for clearing vegetation and pests out of harder reach places, but I can think of a couple cooler things to do with it. 
When you need instant stopping power on large commercial vehicles, these modular vehicle barriers have it all. They might not look like much, but hit them at full speed and they'll destroy your front tires and buckle the underside of your truck in an instant. Not even semi-trailers stand a chance against these easily deployable barriers that can make any vehicle stand up straight in terror. Fortunately, you only find these modular vehicle barriers used as a last line of defense, often in extreme circumstances like the threat of war. With all these improvised drone weapons hitting the market, you have to be able to protect yourself somehow. Introducing the Drone Gun, a tactical defense system that can render UAVs literally useless. Looking like a science fiction rifle straight out of Halo, the Drone Gun features a range of frequency emitters and satellite navigation systems that can lock on to an incoming drone and hijack control of it from the enemy. Once connected, the drone can be captured, crashed into the ground, or even flown back to the enemy base for a surprise counterattack. Why get bombed when you can just use the enemy's weapon against them? Boat ramps are so 2023. Why waste time embarrassing yourself at the local dock when you could just drive straight into the water instead? Gibbs Amphitech has developed the Humdinga, the curious hybrid of a four-wheel drive and a motorboat for those who need the transition from the highway to the open water in the blink of an eye. Capable of highway speeds on the road and up to 30 miles an hour on the water, the Humdinga is the result of over 400 patents and millions of dollars of research. While it might look like a cool novelty, it's become a hit with the military and law enforcement for all those times when bad guys ditch their getaway car and jump on the back of jet skis. And now I think it's time we talk about Russia's deadly secret weapon. Just when you thought the Terminator was nothing more than a sci-fi fever dream, the Russians went out and gave a humanoid robot a gun. Codenamed Fedor, or Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, this dual pistol wielding android was originally programmed to replace humans in hostile or risky environments like earthquakes or landside rescue operations. With this programming, Fedor became adept at using drills and other tools even learning how to drive a car. But when engineers realized Fedor had pinpoint sharpshooter skills, they quickly put him to better use. Just don't give it access to ChatGPT, or we're all done for. With all these crazy new military toys being developed, one thing's for sure, World War III is gonna be so lit. The best way for a front row seat is to like and subscribe. Don't believe me? Try it.